Horror films. It seems like the older I get, the crappier they become. See, I grew up in the era where horror films were actually scary. They weren't just packed to the brim filled with jump scare after jump scare. Well, except for the movie Get Out, that movie was messed up. But the old movies I used to watch when I was a kid, and yes, as a kid, my parents didn't give a shit about what I watched. I guess they thought that if I watched scary movies, uh, it would make me act right. Boy, were they wrong! But in the horror flicks, there was always some monster or murderer that was created by man. It wasn't born that way, it just saw how to happen. <sighs> I wonder which guy was the... Which monster was the freaking greatest? You see where I'm going with this, right? That's right, guys. It's time for another top... Ah, shit! <laughs> guys, he's doing another one of those top five lists again. Oh, really? About what? Oh, oh, is it tough play places where to pee? Because I can help him with that. There's a tree out in front, there's a tree in the backyard, there's uh, a tree three blocks over. No, you I... idiot! It's about- Is it a top five things to knock over? Because no. that could be really interesting. Uh, no, if you guys would just listen- Oh, 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 I know. Is it top five places to hide in your cage? Because I can tell him a whole bunch of stuff about that. That's all I ever do. Who the hell are you? I know you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you, but can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. Good! Now when the f*** is my show coming out? Uh, this is top five monsters created by men. For this list, we were talking about monsters that were created by man in movies. Now, we're not going to talk about Frankenstein because he is the, the epitome. He will probably win this, this top five because... He is the main, the main monster movie created monster. I don't fucking know. He was just created by men, all right? So we're not, I'm excluding him. Let's get into it. Also, I'm going to be covering a lot of origin stories in this top five. So, spoiler alert. Number five, Ghostface from Scream. The main antagonist of the Scream movie franchise. These guys were really nuts. And we're going to talk about the main villain in the first movie. Because the rest of the movies were just stupid. In the first and all the screen movies, the main bad guy is this guy called Ghostface. Pretty much he just has a face, his cloak, and just, his face just looks really creepy. Kinda looks like that one painting, you know, with the guy going... Uh, fucking... The whole screen movie franchise is set up like a big detective movie. Because you have a killer, and then you have the heroes trying to figure out who is the killer, killing all the townspeople. And most, but mostly teenagers. Because teenagers, no, they don't really don't count as people. Anyway. Alright, so bear with me now. Alright, so the main killer is the protagonist's boyfriend and his psychotic friend. The whole entire reason why the main, the main guy, the main one guy, the, the protagonist's boyfriend, was killing everybody, don't ask me why, was because he was freaking upset because his dad was banging his, his her mom. This is fucking convoluted as shit. Okay. Bear with me here. The main killer was the was Sydney's boyfriend. He was mad because his his dad was banging Sydney's mom, and that ruined the the marriage between his parents. Yeah, don't worry, it's all thoroughly explained. But he wasn't born crazy like Shaggy over there. Your daddy's the chief suspect. Zoic Scoob! He was driven crazy by the village skank. And that's why he takes the North 5 spot on this list. Number 4. The 12 ghosts from the 13th ghost. That's confusing, isn't it? Okay, I know I'm cheating with this pick, but I don't care. Alright, so all these ghosts died in a pretty messed up way. And because of that, they all roamed the earth doing messed up things. The only reason why I know this is because if you buy the DVD, one of the features in the DVD, the main bad guy tells you all 12 of the ghosts' stories. And dude, some of them are messed up. So messed up. So when the main guy catches all these ghosts like ghost Pokemon, somehow they get loose in the house and just try to mess up the heroes, including Rod Digger. So I guess if you catch a ghost, the best thing to do is run like or don't catch ghosts. Hey, spooks. That wasn't a very good joke, man. Your jokes are horrible. Shut up, get your teeth straight. Number three, Freddy Krueger. Okay, the dream man, Freddy Krueger, was just a guy that loved kids. Maybe he loved kids a little too much. Okay, he was a bastard that deserved what he got in the movie. Being burned alive seemed like almost too good of a death for this guy. However, what the townspeople didn't know was his ass was gonna turn up in the most badass dream killing machine. Talk about making a monster, am I right? This dude can pretty much go into the dreams of the people 
This dude can apparently go into people's dreams. This dude can apparently go into dreams of the people who's killed him's kids. Wait. This dude can apparently go into the dreams of the people who killed his kids. This dude can apparently go into kids' dreams and kill them in their sleep. Jeez, I thought dying in your sleep was the most peaceful way to go, but nah. Good thing you can hurt him inside your dreams, otherwise he'll be way too powerful to stop, because logic. Number two, Jason. All right, the big guy himself. The main killer in the Friday 13th franchise after part one, because part one was his mom. So he pretty much just kills anybody that comes up to Camp Crystal Lake which is surprising that anybody would want to go up there after so many people have died. Seriously? I mean, like, really? Who says, hey, remember that, that camp where a whole bunch of those kids died terribly? Let's send more kids up there to their deaths. It certainly won't happen again. Dumbasses. Turns out his dead mother is the one telling him to kill all these kids because they deserve to die. And he's all like, okay, mommy, I'll go up there and kill all those horny bitches. <laughs> a real real monster if I could do say so myself. Number one, the candy man. Uh, I'm gonna need you to buckle up for a trip to that's pretty fun town. This dude was a slave named Daniel something back in the olden days. Yeah, so this guy got it on with his master's daughter and when his master found out that him and his daughter were a thing, well, uh, pretty much gathered the townsfolk and hunted him down. And once they caught him, they cut off his right hand with a rusty saw. That's not even, that's not it. That's not half of it. They covered him with honey. After they cover him with honey, they throw a beehive on him. A beehive. Let that soak in for a minute. Cut off his hand. Probably beat the shit him. Covered him with honey and threw bees at him. Bees. So when he dies, he said he would get revenge on those who killed him. Yeah. Let that sink in for a bit. Dude, the guy comes back with a vengeance and just starts messing people up to the point where he was trying to bang his great great six and a half hours later. Great 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 granddaughter that looks something like his the girl he was with at the time. Dude! Jesus! That's just nasty. That is just nasty. But yeah, I picked him number one because throughout all this crap that had happened, he became the most powerful, to me, the most powerful freaking man-made monster in, the, in all horror movies. Because if you think about Freddy Krueger, yeah, if people killed him, he can go into people's dreams. This man, once one person says, you look into the mirror, you say his name five times, once one person does that, he everybody up. Because I guess that just unleashes him. And you don't have to be asleep to do it either. All of a sudden, a bee will fly in, and you'll be like, that's a bee. Oh, and then, you're done. Whew. So close it. The top five list is done. This one really gave me the creeps, especially when I was writing it. Because I had to research, like, monsters that were man-made. And Candyman came up on top. That's why the whole entire time I've been recording, I've had this gun next to me. Because if some spooky shit starts happening, granted it's just a BB gun, but if this spooky shit starts happening... It's not loaded, but still, you know what I'm saying. So guys, that ends this video here. Um... Down in the comments below, tell me who, who your favorite, like, man-made monster was. Just follow the stipulations. It's pretty much, it can't be somebody who was born psychotic. It had to be something where something traumatic happened to them, and then they became this motherfucker that just destroyed some shit. Um, yeah. So over here is a link to the rest of the top five lists that I've done in the past. And over here is a link to my channel. You can do, click both, uh, and do, do both things. Uh, but leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for another exciting episode of Leo's Top 5s. This is Leo, signing off.